He's used quite early. He could have the flash over the wall, but it's not really going to be necessary. I almost feel like Whoa, actually it's just going to be the long chase. He has no oh. more escapes. Here's high. Why did he not go over for the wall? This is interesting. Dyrus actually gets himself in a pickle. No rotation for the rest of the team. First blood, a matter of 3.33 into the game. Oh, man. So much patience. All day. And he gets a blue buff anyway, so he's well. going to be able to spit out damage on top of the death mark. Does he have enough to capitalize on? And it's going to pop with the ignite on. No, though, right. So they will be doing this in the division of TSM. Teleport's coming in. It might be a battle. This is going to be huge. Lust Boy does have his ultimate up. Where's he going to be throwing it down to? Nice crowd control. He makes him use it on himself. That's going to be huge. Balls with going right into the fight and shutting down the initiation. Dragon's already been picked up in the fight, and it looks like Cloud9 is going to go ahead and walk out of this. His playful trick to the farm really anymore because he needs to save it for a high all-in. It's going to make farming a little bit tricky for him here until he gets some help. He actually goes for kill. Ooh. Misses it. Got it on the initial attack, so it doesn't even stick all these times. And, oh, wow, Sneaky gets over the huge oh, part man. of the Map pressure. Erickson with quite a bit of control nice there towards mid. Not Got getting him. out of this one. That's going to be the lock. <laughs> He's just making sure. Yeah, finally, they need a difference in power in that way. But with the zillion at this point in the game and the poke on a sneaky, Cloud9 may have to just retreat. Ooh. Wild Turtle opens up with the culling. They're all forced to back off from the tidal wave. And a little back and forth here. Dyrus almost gets Whoa. taken down. He holds on to the ultimate, which could still be actually going to heal. And he will have his teleport to yep. come back in. That is huge. The Zed poke has been really beneficial. That's the oh, flank. Here's the fight. Back side, can he polymorph? What's he trying to do? He gives himself the wild growth as they go in. Amazing's very low, but he uses the ultimate, tries to get out, but Medios finds him as he drops down the spout. Bjergsen's gonna have an ult near him, but it looks like he only hits three with that. Not too much damage going around. Oh, man. Bump. He's still doing damage, though. Finally, they get to focus on a Wild Turtle now trying to go crazy. Lemonation hits the last bubble, and he flashes away so they cannot get the retribution kill. Well, got a 49 KDA for the series. Ball's still getting focused. Ooh. A little miscommunication gets himself out fast, but they do get his flash. Whoa, whoa! whoa. Coming out of nowhere on this one. Yeah, the playful and the trickster to get the kill in. So this is... And he makes it away. Very nice utility use of the speed steroid. This is a flank right here. You can see yep. Cloud9's pushed up the mid lane. A lot of TSM is trying to come from behind them. Although High has burned a lot of Dyrus' and stuff right off the bat. Oh, it has been used. The Ignite takes him down, and the hat flutters to the ground. TSM Amazing. might still go in, though. Trying to come in from the backside. A great calling. It's Stop though. No, he actually dodges out with the run of the pursuit to keep some shots coming in. A kill coming in from Sneaky uses the heal to keep the team healthy, but it takes. Actually, he goes down to the ignite. Triple kill! Through that. This is when it comes up big. Bjergsen with the kills and the fights. The triple there, 4 2 and 2. But those Lemon Nation bubbles disengaging at the end. A little too late, but does save quite a bit there. A lot of teams. And after that last fight, I don't know how willing Cloud9 would be yeah. to fly in here. They got to be careful. They do have a little bit of a flank going on. If they can land the right stun, they miss it. A lot will of Ball's initiate. He goes. Only crowd control on the Lust Boy. The Chrono Shift is That's huge. not used. It's going to be under amazing. He can't even jump away. Right after a fun back end for Cloud9. It's not like it really affects anybody on their team to keep grabbing it. Grabbing it. It's just going to be Erickson for experience right now. And there is the death mark. It goes right through the shield. Oh, no. The bait in. He's going to become Coming back up, and it looks like he actually may try to deliver another <laughs> space. So Cloud9 back in. Do engage mode. Kind of the only way I see them dealing with this, but now Cloud9 actually looking for the initiation. TSM could definitely get cut off here. All right. Good shot onto Amazing. He won't take any extra damage to be on that death mark. Everybody's kind of, ooh, trying to get an initiation. Flash and no vision control at the Baron area. This oh, now they're going for it. is so dangerous for TSM. They have to rush in, but the fear of rushing in is that they're waiting for a trap, and Balls is trying to zone them out. They're going to realize now the Baron's being taken. He can do everything. He throws down the Maokai off of it. Maelstrom is down. They go right for Bjergsen. The Zanyas is on. Lost Boy's Chrono Shift still trying to pay attention to that. Wild growth now to Bjergsen. They're trying to calculate these. He got the Chrono Shift as well, so he will be back. Cloud9, however, is cleaning up the fight. Sneaky says, King Me gets another jump. One more shot to Bjergsen. It's going to come from Medios, and Lust Boy is the only one to get out. Now they're pushing mid. So far, so good as they push in 11,000 gold and inhibitor down now on the side of Team Solo mid. Cloud9 also is not even getting hurt by Amazing Poke right now. We got Wild Turtle already trying to take down the minions coming down through mid. You have Sneaky just hitting the auto attacks. Erickson is in. Jump the waters only does so much damage, and it looks like they now engage. Cloud9 
Lions focusing on Debierson. He tries to get to the back line. He's popped up by the tidal wave. He will be back. Chrono Shift is on. Lost Boy and the back line trying to peel a bit for Turtle as well. Nobody can get back to Bjergsen though. Cloud9 is just sectioned off the entire fight. And Cloud9 is doing the right thing here. It's almost like everyone is on their own individual page during team fights, which makes it impossible to track who they're focusing and it's just playing mind games with TSM. This game's over. 34 and a half on the clock, Jack. Cloud9 coming in strong. 64,000 to 48, 17 to six on the scoreboard. We're gonna go to game two in this best of five series. Cloud9 takes game one. Well, TSM was 